Hey, what's up everybody? Today I have a new update for you guys and this is gonna be from Penn State. The serious? Cap mode, baby. Boom, here we go, guys. So the big name of the day, Micah Parsons, had a great pro day. You know, kind of the forgotten, uh, I guess, candidate for the Cowboys. He was early on, so was Sertan. It's almost like we're going full circle with these mock drafts and the interest. Remember early on, it was Sertan. It was Micah Parsons. Michael Parsons might have been the very first one that was linked to the Cowboys when this whole mock season draft season started. So um, this is very interesting just to see how everything is playing out amongst fans, media coverage, local Cowboys coverage, and that sort of thing. But today, the pro day that was really highlighted today, Penn State, Michael Parsons put on the show, uh, came in at 6'3", 246 pounds, his 40 yard dash, 4.39 seconds, vertical leap, pretty legit, 39.5 broad jump of 134 so these are explosive numbers okay like i said when you look at the vertical jump plus the broad jump that shows that explosiveness the athleticism right there those are the numbers you look at okay so were the cowboys there yes they were take a look at this this is uh not quite sure which this is i'm, I'm going to say this is a scout for the dallas cowboys but you can see the second row here uh pretty up front taking a close look at michael parsons uh, running the, these uh, these drills and interesting, very interesting to me. Now, obviously, you know, you could say, oh, well, Mike McCarthy and Danko, these guys aren't there. But the fact is you have a representative there, you know, right. In, you want to see, you know, firsthand, you know, what what does, is this player about? How did he handle himself during the workouts? That sort of thing. So there's interest there for the Cowboys. You know, what if these players get wiped out? What if these cornerbacks you know, did so good that they do jump into that top nine, okay? And, um, you know, also, you might get some trade deals for the Cowboys. Maybe maybe you're sitting there and Parsons is on on your board and he's there and maybe somebody's calling you to trade up because they want to take him. Well, at least you have firsthand information from your scout, from your representative there as far as, hey, you know, I don't know, I've scouted this player all year, all his career here, and, um, you know, I don't, we shouldn't trade out of this. So this is the kind of information that they're going to give, you know, Will McClay and these kinds of things as they put this board together. All of this stuff comes into play, but just the fact that there's a cowboy rep there up front in the middle watching these workouts, pretty cool, pretty interesting. And, you know, Parsons isn't the only player here that, that, that they're watching. There's also Jason Owe. He put on a pretty good show too, 6'5". 257 pounds, 4.36 40 yard dash. That's crazy for a person of this size. 39.5 vert, 134 as well. So putting on the show, if you guys miss Mike McCarthy's press conference, go watch that. He did say that he likes, prefers these guys, whether it's offense or defense, to be 6'5", 6'4", 6'5", 250 something plus. So the metric numbers, they're still in place under Mike McCarthy. He's a big advocate of those of those numbers, okay? So, you know, some of these linebackers that have some size to them could be in play. Now, I did the anti-metric mock draft for a reason, okay? And, you know, they're probably not going to go, they're probably not going to look at any of these guys in my anti-metric draft. You know what I'm talking about? Nick Bolton, six foot. Uh, Asante Samuel, 5'10". Uh, our Darius Washington, these guys, all of them, you're probably going to scratch them off the list just based on what, what, what the Cowboys do and what Mike McCarthy has reiterated. Okay, so it is what it is. But guys, what do you think about Michael Parsons? Is anybody back on the train? Is anybody back on the Michael Parsons train? I think he brings a lot to the table. Out of the Big Ten, you know, they, they put out some good linebackers there. You know, but do you want to take a linebacker at 10? You know, are, are you risking boom or bust i think that's what you get out of michael parsons to me he's a boomer bust player you know what i mean and um you you kind of run that risk so you gotta you gotta figure this thing out but guys let me know what you guys think would you draft michael parsons there you know do you like him more than a jc horn do you like him more than patrick sertan okay let me know what you guys think and they have not picked up late vandrush's fifth year option jaden smith there could be a churning here at linebacker. Don't be surprised if the, the Cowboys double dip at linebacker. They haven't even added a legit linebacker. Yes, we know what we're going to get out of uh, Keanu Neal as a flex type of player. 
but you still need more linebackers. You know, they haven't really added another vet. So double dipping at linebacker could be on its way, guys. Continue to like, subscribe, and share. Shout out to my subscribers, members. Shout out to all you guys. Catch you for the next one. Peace.